Hi guys! Today we'll talk about some of the design mode features that you can use in your UI applications. We'll have a look at the demo GUI example and demonstrate the following topics. First, we'll show you how to preview and test your UI without doing a build and run. Then we'll have a look at connections and how to add UI logic using signal and slot connections. We'll discuss themes and fonts and show you how that can be used to change the look and feel of all widgets in your UI applications. We'll discuss UI keyboards for user input, custom pop-up windows, that's dialogues, and finally, we'll discuss the scratch pad and show you how to copy and reuse elements. We will show this by creating a multi-page UI using elements from the demo GUI. Let's start by opening up the example. To preview the demo, press Shift-Alt-R on your keyboard. You can now resize, switch pages and interact with sliders and other graphical elements. Communication with CDP is not enabled during preview mode. The logic that we see here is connected using signals and slots. Let's make a connection to make this slider control both meters. Press F4 to enter connection mode. We can now press down on the slider and drag a connection to the meter. Select slider moved and on the meter set the value. Press F3 to go back to normal mode and again we enter preview. Works like a charm. Pressing the button to the lower left will toggle between two predefined themes. All global features like this are controlled from the main window using slots or context menu. Let's have a look at how to change the theme. Right click on the main window either in the form or in the object inspector. You see you have the choice to select theme. From the drop down you can select for instance flat light and flat dark. The theme dialog just changes the theme property values. You can actually toggle these properties directly without the dialog. Note the property named theme root dir. If you're having problems with custom graphics, like for instance the menu icons, you can use this property to ensure that Studio Design Mode can locate the image files. Similar to themes, the fonts can be changed globally. Again, the feature is controlled by the main window. In the demo, the font buttons are connected to a hidden combo box. We can use the filters in the object inspector and property editor to locate it. The combo box is connected to a slot in the main window called Set Global Font. You can also see the connection in the Signals and Slots editor at the bottom of the screen. All input widgets like buttons, spin boxes and line edits support launching keypads. 
The demo shows how to do this on the first tab on the first page. Setting the property named pad type to something other than none will launch a keypad when the button is pressed. We can also send and emit the pad result to other widgets. Let's connect the signal accepted value to set value in the meter. Now let's see how it looks in preview mode. Let's enter the value 50. And there we are, perfect. Buttons can also be set to launch dialogues. This is shown in the second tab. The dialog file is configured in the UI file line property. To enable it to show in preview mode, we have written the full path of the UI file. Let's try it out in preview mode. The dialog supports lots of features like routing replacement and animations. Let us make it animate from the left without adjusting size. Set animate size to false and animate start to left. Save by pressing Ctrl S. Let's go back, back to the main widget. We do a preview. And nice. To copy and reuse elements from the demo in other projects, we can use the scratch pad. The scratch pad is located at the bottom of the widget box. You can drop any element in the widget box and it will show at the bottom along with the other widgets. Let's copy the menu. Hold down the control key while you drag it over to the widget box. Let's give it a proper name. Now let's do the same thing with one of the containers. Again, we give it a proper name. Now they can be used in a new application. Watch and learn as I set it up. I drag in a menu and I'm going to use a stacked widget to hold the pages. I add them both to a layout and let's add the container, add it to a layout. Let's call it page one and on the second page let's add another one and name it page two to add a third page right click on the arrow insert page after current page do the same thing page three that's three pages let's remove the menus we don't going to use okay We don't have the icons, I didn't copy the graphics. So let's select all of the menu icons and choose to set the icon diameter to zero. Okay, 
Now let's connect the buttons to the stacked widget. Click int, set current index. Click int, set current index. And let's also connect the night mode button. Toggle blue, set night mode. That might be F3, let's do a preview. And it works. That's all for this tutorial. See you again next time.